Champagne for New Year's Eve. Been there, done that. But a bottle of bubbly with gold flakes. That's real gold flakes. That's what Market Watch's Charles Bassey suggests, and he joins us now with the booze for Weekend Sip. Charles? Yes, it, it's got gold in them there bottles. So, <laughs> real, real am, absolute gold. We're talking edible gold flake, not a lot of it. Um, I calculated how much gold is in there. It's about 20 cents worth of gold. OK, well, let's let's give you, um, you know, maybe one cent worth of, of gold you in know, there. Uh, it's, it's not coming out, I don't think. <laughs> um, it's actually, it's not coming out. I, I, I think there's so much electronics around here. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> um, actually, it is starting to, to um, to, to swirl in the to bottle. swirl the around in the so, bottle. You know, okay, so this is um, XX1. I'm going to pour myself a little more just to get some of that gold in there or whatever. So That's uh, that's your excuse, is it? You know. So uh, I've, I have seen this before a very, very long time ago. Uh, what's, what's the idea? Why do you like this? Um, I, I'm not saying I love the taste and we should try it, but um, it's a clever marketing campaign. And look, it worked for Goldschlager, which is the cinnamon-flavored schnapps uh, that's been around for decades. Yes, I'd need gold to try try cinnamon flavored schnapps <laughs> but but um, you know it's just a it's a clever marketing idea um, basically the gentleman behind it behind it a 24 year old entrepreneur says this adds the um, the fourth element to champagne we had things about taste, look and price. This is how we judge uh, champagne. Now apparently we can judge champagne by how well it's gold can be suspended in it. Um, this, I should mention, is not a true champagne in the sense that it comes from France. This is California sourced. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's intended to basically be a conversation starter, I would well, say. Well, I think, I think it is. And the conversation is that we can't get the gold out of the bottle. <laughs> That'd be first. I'm, I'm going to um, taste this. Okay. Well, um, uh, well, we'll see how it goes, OK? Hmm. Um, wow. OK, so <clears throat> if you've got anyone who's a um, some, someone like Will Lyons, who really knows his wine, right. our, our wine columnist in London, how is he going to react to that? I don't think he's going to be too happy about it. I mean, look, uh, it's you know sweet. It's, it's sweet, but what I what actually what I don't like about this is there's a kind of a kick of astringency, a bitterness on the back end. Uh, one critic described it as sort of mixing applesauce and Splenda. So um, I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of the flavor profile. Um, the bubbles are right. The, I would say that's delicate bubbles. Um, so I, I like the bubbles. I like the carbonation. But uh, as far as the taste, not really there. And especially for the price, this is not the cheapest bottle out there. This is 37 bucks. And as I say, only 20 cents worth. The gold. Wow, and we can't even get the gold out of it. Anyway, okay. So no, but anyway, let's let's Happy have a, New Year in Happy any New case. Year in a while. Anyway, cheers everybody. Have a great Christmas holiday.